Hello, my friends. Today, I'm going to be showing you the four video overlay settings in iMovie so you can make super cool videos. Let's get started. In iMovie, you have four different overlay settings, and I'm going to be going over each of those with you. The very first one that we're going to be looking at is called a cutaway clip. I already have all my media available, so I'm going to go to this beautiful beach scene and I'm going to select it and put it on my timeline. If you put a still image in the timeline, it's going to get bigger as it plays. So the first thing you need to do with a still image is select it, go up to your cropping tool, and select fit as the style. When you select fit, it will not magnify and get bigger. The next thing that we want to do is we want to cut away. And what that means is that it'll cover the entire portion of the video clip where you're adding it. So the duration of your movie is not going to change, but we're just going to cut away. Click on the video overlay settings and there's four selections and cut away is actually the default. Select cut away and watch what happens when I play the video. it cuts to that image. This can either be an image or a video. It doesn't really matter which one you select and it'll play for the duration. If it's an image, you can always select the end of it and make it play longer or for less time. The next one we're gonna look at is a green screen or blue screen effect. And that effect superimposes one clip over another. So you can actually record video in front of a green or blue backdrop and then cut out the subject and superimpose it over another video clip. I've got a green screen of this cat and there's a shadow and everything. It's very cool. There's lots of websites where you can download green or blue screen clips for free. So let's check out how this would work. I'm going to go to the end of my video. I already have a still image in here and I'm going to select my green screen and put it on the timeline. With the green screen clip selected, go up to your video overlay settings and select green blue screen. And now this is pretty cool. Watch it play. So that's a lot of fun as well. And the next one that I'm going to be showing you is a split screen effect. So let's see how that works. So here's our original image that we put in the timeline that's doing a cutaway. So I'm gonna switch it to a split screen effect. First select the video or image that you're changing the video overlay settings for. Select the video overlay settings and select split screen. So now you can see that one of the images is on the left and the video is on the right. You can also switch the position, left, right, top or bottom, and this can also be another video. Perhaps you're doing a video with another person and you want that person showing as well as you ask each other questions, which will have to be timed very carefully. So doing a split screen is super simple. And the next one that I'm going to be showing you is picture in a picture. And we use this one an awful lot. And so for this, I've got my BB-8 because I absolutely love Star Wars. So once I put BB-8 in the timeline, I need to first go to the cropping tool and set it at fit for style. Once I set the full height and width of the clip, I can go to my video overlay settings and select picture in picture. And now I've got my BB-8 here. I can make this as big or small as I want to and set it anywhere that I want. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. And you can really add anything as a picture in a picture. So for example, if we want to make this beautiful beach scene a picture-in-picture, picture, 
just go back up to the video overlay settings, switch it to picture in picture, and now you've got this beautiful beach that you can set into your frames. And that can be a video or it can be an image. So there you go, those are your four iMovie video overlay settings. You've got cutaway, green blue screen, split screen, and picture in picture. Thanks for hanging out with me today. This is Lisa Jared. I hope you enjoyed this video about iMovie overlay settings. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. And if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. See you next time.